In the last video, I talked about the importance of your van life bed. Well, I talked about not get rid of your van, but in your van, like just like in your in your traditional life, just like in a nomadic lifestyle, when a person living mostly full time out of their van, your bed is your oasis of comfort. It's everything. Your bed is absolutely everything. And I got rid of my bed and I'm going to show y'all in this video, I'm going to show y'all what the setup was like. This is for those that are new to the channel. I'll show y'all what the setup was like with the bed in here. I kept my back seats. I always want my back seats. And so the bed I previously had, it kind of folded, it folded and I'll show y'all how it folded. So, and it fit perfectly even with my back seats. I got rid of the van just I got rid of the bed I should say because the springs were hurting my back and the bed was low and when I started out with the bed the low how it being low people were saying like oh my knees couldn't do that well my knees still can do that but it, it with the springs being worn in the bed no longer worked so my setup now is I am using <laughs> here it is can you see it I am using my sleeping bag and uh, well sometimes while well, I rotate so sometimes I lay across my back seat and I'll put a picture of my aunt laying across my back seat and because she was wondering how I was doing it and I'm like I could fit then I'll also show you what my setup was like before as far as my no build van build what I think I'm going to do not think well what I'm going to do is a couple of options this option the sleeping bag and stuff it works on some nights but because i'm not really sleeping about because of what's going on in my personal life it's kind of not working it works some nights but some nights it doesn't now i could get a bed mailed here to san diego um, i got a lot i meet for i got a lot of friends i got a lot of friends here in san diego and um, not only that, I wonder, could you, because you know how you do like an Amazon locker too, because I'm not one of those kind of people that would impose, but then I got a friend, he would let my bed come to his house and he probably would want me to be, <laughs> I ain't doing it, I ain't doing it. Um, but, so I would, so I could get my bed here, I could get another bed ordered. But I would like to see the bed and fill it and test it out before I just order some bed off of Amazon because if it's going to be if it's going to be low if it doesn't fit perfectly like that Galantix I believe that was the brand of that bed it fit perfectly so it's important that I make the right choice I could also get a bed built um, I've had a bed built twice one the first time the bed I had built was perfect the second time is all right but I know that because the first time I knew the person who built the bed, the second time I just hired somebody from Craigslist and I could have worked with him and had him saw the legs down and did some other stuff too. I did even have my cousin and son work on the bed and it got it a little bit better. So I do have a lot of bed options, but if you are even not even considering van life, but just say you want to get in a van and go on weekend trips or you know you got to keep that van i told y'all last video the importance of keeping your van um you're going to want to get a bed and so my bed journey i'm going to show y'all in this video how the bed fit if you haven't seen it how it fit in my van and um i, I told you i got rid of it because the springs were hurting my back but i got a lot going on so i ain't sleeping all that well this sleeping bag is the bomb though it's real it's one of those mummy sleeping bags and so it can it can it can bring some comfort to you. <laughs> Hold up, just saying it's acting crazy. So it can bring I don't know what's going on. It can bring some comfort to you. Um, I want to say this to y'all, and I say this, I say this because this is important. This is very important. Life is short. We don't we say that all the time. Life is short. Oh, you never know, you never know. I say it all the time as well. But life is really short, and if we really believe that, we would move differently, we would do things differently. I'm out here in San Diego. I am preparing to go home next month. I want to go home in September, maybe like the end of September. It's really hot temperatures right now in Ohio. I got a room at another cousin's house. I got I, I have places to stay. I actually have a room at somebody's house, my cousin's house. But I love my van and, and I love being in my van. And this is my place where I go when I need time alone, time to think. 
I write, I have to have like my mind, I have to keep my mind in a good space in order to write. I bet I picked up a couple of clients that I'm writing for too, but in order to write, I have to keep my, I have to protect my peace. I have to protect my peace. And as you can imagine, when somebody passes away in your family, look at me going all off, it's hard to protect your peace. So I need a bed and I need to protect my peace. What do you need? Tell me in the comments what you need. And most importantly, like I said, I'm going to show you all some videos. I'll even show a video of the hotel I went to because we went to two different hotels. Well, we went to the same hotel twice and we went to an Airbnb. I'll explain and show more vacation videos later. But for now, let me show some bed videos. And whatever you do and however you do it, always, always, always take the joy route. Take this is the part of the bed that I'm pressing on that had sunk in. It's no longer a robust van, no build van life bed. And so I had to have say goodbye to it at the park. I didn't leave it at the park. Coming up, I'm going to show you where I put the bed. So here's the bed folded. This is a folding let out bed chair. This is the way right here that I had it in my van I had the back part of this chair up against my front passenger seat, which I still had. And then the end of the bed, it was the exact same size as my back seat. So, I mean, it fit like a glove. It fit my van like a glove. And here it is, let up. I'm just showing y'all different ways that it goes up and down. Here is one of my earlier no-build van build setups. The van is a little messy. I'm at Schoolie UP. It was an event where people live in school buses. They convert school buses to live in school buses. I know some of y'all have seen this video. It's one of my favorite videos, but I'm showing it because I got a few new people here and I want to show you my setup. So this is how I operate y'all. You can make your little van home comfortable. No, it's not home home, but oh, you can make it comfortable. You can make it your oasis of comfort. You really can. Now, coming up, I spent the last week um, on vacation, well, the last couple of weeks on vacation. We stayed at a hotel called the Atwood Hotel in San Diego. It was a little retro. This hotel is called the Atwood Hotel. It's in San Diego. I really like this hotel. Surrounding this hotel, it's on this place called Hotel Circle. But I really enjoyed the beds and the style of this hotel. I'm not going to show y'all too much of the outside because I want to do a, a complete video talking about this hotel. But for now, I just want to show y'all my bed. I was so comfortable here at this hotel. So my aunt and I, we stayed here at the Atwood Hotel. Here are our beds. We stayed here twice because what happened was we ended up booking an Airbnb. It really wasn't an Airbnb. It was a little cottage house. It was so nice through one of my friends, it was my friend's home. So she had a little guest house in the back. But after we, we only booked it for two nights. So after that, we decided to come back to this hotel on the bed. I bought me and my son's t-shirts. I got to announce to them that San Diego about to be my home for the winter, y'all. But the bed, this bed and a van life bed is so important. But when you get out of your van life bed and you get into a proper bed, if you want to call it a proper bed, I slept like a baby. I slept and I cried, but I slept like a baby. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe. It helps me and encourages me to continue making videos. In this busy world, it helps me to, cre to continue to create this content and to inspire some of you to get in the van and take a road trip sabbatical. Whatever you do, take the joy route. Take the joy route.